Hey, 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 guys. This is Draku coming at you with episode 6 of Project Ozone 2 Kappa Mode. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I don't have any cool custom music yet. None of you awesome subscribers have offered to make me a custom theme song yet, so the best you get is me doing this in a really bad voice. It's your fault, not mine. Can't help it. Y'all could be more awesome and give me a theme song, but y'all are awesome enough by just hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button. Subscribe button. I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest with you. So here we are. It's Wednesday. It's been about three days since I was in this world. I just recorded half an episode and looked up and realized I wasn't recording anything. So some of the stuff I was going to show you on camera, <laughs> I already did. I don't understand how this works. It's, it's killing me just doing all this wrong. But you notice my armor's changed. I've gotten more loot bags. I've done a bunch of quests. I was on for an hour or two this morning before I went to work. And I did a bunch of stuff off camera. Just because, you know, it's grindy. And just grindy, 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 grindy stuff you got to get done. You notice we have a gold chest now. It took forever to get enough gold to do that. I ended up just going over here and getting loot bags out of the, the farm. Because that was just faster. It was so not worth it trying to sieve a bunch of gravel. I have sieved a bunch, though. I mean, look at our powders. Look at our broken ores. And this chest, too. All kinds of stuff. I didn't sieve sand. I did dust, and I did gravels. I skipped the sand entirely for some unknown reason to me. Um, I want to make a smeltery pretty soon. I've gotten the lava automated fully now. Uh, out of all that sieving I did, I got enough lapis to put together a transfer node. So now it automatically pulls out and goes in here. Nothing in the transfer node, no speed upgrades or anything, because it wasn't necessary. So now we automatically make cobble to, cobble to fill this up. To keep We keep cobble going in here. And you see up there, it's pulling the lava out as fast as it can make it. And then this will eventually be full. We were at 24 uh, buckets in the last episode. Now we're at 60, almost 67 buckets. So that's a lot. I think my plan is to put the smeltery right in here. Obviously not in outer space. We're, we're going to have to fill this in first. But I'm going to put the smeltery out in here. Then I'll be able to hook this to the, um, the tank, the lava tank. And just get lava automatically poured it into that. Because that way I don't have to worry. Man, look at that. Slime over there. That's a big slime over there. But when I hook this to that, I don't have to worry about, what you call it, making another one of these nodes or anything and wasting materials for another one. I can just bam, 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 done, gone. Did he jump off? Oh, no, dude, you jumped off. It was nice knowing you. Hope you don't mind the fall forever. Okay. By the way, we're in outer space. It's pretty obvious when you look around. I mean, look, there's planets down there. So why do you die when you get down there? Why don't you just fall forever? Wouldn't that make more sense? Yeah, stuff we, stuff we think about, right? Obviously, I've got juice in my hand instead of apples. I figured out juice was a better food. Um, and all you need to make juice is a juicer, which is this guy right here. These are cheap. You need a rock, and you need a pressure plate. So basically, three smooth stone, and you got it. You make one of those, then you just put your fruit right next to it, and you're good to go. Um, now I did get a couple rewards here cause I thought I was recording me doing the rewards book. Luckily I haven't opened these yet and I'm looking right now, my recorder is going and I got plenty of hard drive space. So we're good on that. So we got two of these we can open up and we're going to get some more. There's more quests I haven't done yet. I may do the requirements for the quest off screen, but I will make sure that you're able to see them when I finish them. Unless I don't hit the record button. But so we did see an analyzer. Where we had to make a seed analyzer. That's this guy right here. And I got a bunch of seeds. See these up here? I've already analyzed these. So I'm, I'm, let's see if we can make... Let's see if we can get another seed that I haven't analyzed yet. So we can see how to do it. What I'm trying to do right now is get some get some roses. And it's just not happening. It's kind of making me mad, to be honest with you. So I've gotten a bunch of yellow. A bunch of gray. But no roses. Now we got pink. We're going to get every color out of this before we get red. Watch. Okay, do we get any seeds I don't have yet? I've got potato. I've got those kind of seeds. i got carrot. Don't need those. Let's go and open these while we're... Maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be a red one in here. Ah, uh, compact giant chance cube. That is so not what I wanted. I'm sick of chance cubes after the last episode. Oh, but we got a fancy lamp. Two fancy lamps, two fancy lanterns. Those are known as a crap reward for pretty obvious reasons. 
Okay. Throw you in there. Throw you in there. Chance cubes go in this one, which I will jettison off the screen when nobody's looking. Oh, we might have more chance cubes somewhere. Did I put them in here? I want to keep them all in the same place. Oh, there they are. There's three of those, one of those, one of those. Wow, we've already back up to seven chance cubes. I hate chance cubes. Okay, do I have any roses upstairs? I didn't even think to look up there. I'm still kind of nervous. I need to put some walls on this. Uh, no, no chance cubes up here. You don't see them, right? Not chance cubes, but roses. What have to be in these white ones? Let's find out. Uh, safari net. That could be handy. A book. I don't know what those are all about. Engineer's blueprints. Those I do know. Don't need that. That gave me... Provides illumination, heals the player, and their pants. Those are pretty sorry looking pants. Okay, well there's no red roses in there. Just gotta get some more red roses somehow. Oh, when this grows up we'll have... This is for a quest too. I got those from sifting topiary grass. Topiary grass... Oh, no. Uh, come back. There we go. Comes from putting a block of dirt and surrounding it by four seeds. Any four seeds. Doesn't matter what they are. The quest called for 12... And I think I completed the quest when I thought I was recording. My bad, guys. So we'll back up and look at that. So there's still more you can watch me do. Yeah, topiary grass was this one. So I needed 12 topiary grass. This is saving montage number two. I made the blue grass, which is literally just topiary stuff and blue. Uh, that's really hard, right? And we're making the autumnal grass, which is topiary grass in red. That's why I'm on the desperate hunt for red. No, not that button. Not that button. I want that button. There we go. I need six of those. So we need some red. And the way it's looking, we're not getting any red. <laughs> and I'd say let's just go hunt down some botania flowers, but we can't hunt them down. Celery. Brussels sprouts. Okay, I don't have Brussels sprouts yet, so we'll throw some of these in here. You throw this in here. It assigns the value 111 because it's brand new. Ooh. Uh, chili peppers. Hey, hey. So all these are now assigned 111, and they're now agri-craft, not just regular seeds. The book over here was a reward from one of the quests, the quest when I made the seed analyzer, and it tracks everything. So if I scroll through here, so over here it tells me I can put the Brussels sprout with a celery seed and get something. It won't tell me what until I've actually found it. So it teases me a little bit. It tells me I can combine these. Like I know, what is it, um, seeds, wheat, and carrots... One of these makes pumpkins, which we've already got, and one of these makes sugar cane. I can't remember which is which. But any eye will tell us that too. So here's some more stuff I can combine. Chili peppers and spices. I don't know, they'll make jalapenos? I don't know. We'll find out though. Sticking all the seeds in here for now. Uh, put y'all in there. Actually, no, I don't even need y'all. But we're going to do it anyway. Just so we don't lose the practice. Do this one, do this one. Bam. Okay. Now they'll stack. Um, now these are all 111s. These are all unplanted seeds. When you come over here, see how these are planted? Did I bring? I didn't bring the crop sticks. Let me grab the crop sticks. By the way, those bushes came from sifting topiary grass. They were the first flavor that popped out, so I just went with it. Okay, here we go. What I did was I got one bush, which is a small square like that. I planted it here. It grew. Once it grew, it put another one on top of it. So I broke that one and put it over here beside it. Then that grew. This one grew another one, and now it's growing this one. I need four of these for that quest. Just like I need a bunch of red. I need three red roses. Okay, now here's how this works. A single crop stick like this, when you put them down, it's four of them. The crop stick recipe is just four sticks and a two by two. Pretty simple. So when you put it down like this, you can put a seed in the middle of it. The seed grows, and you know how pumpkins and watermelon normally spread? Well, when they're in agri-craft sticks, something keeps grabbing control of the screen. That's why it keeps in the menu button. When you've got agri-craft sticks, they grow inside the sticks, and you can right-click to harvest. So it doesn't have to go back through all the stages again. 
Now, this one is a 111. This one is a 111. You can see that in the tooltip in the top middle. If I do two sticks, now this is a breeding pattern. What will happen is these two will randomly mix together. Or one of three things can happen. This can spread to this. This can spread to this. Or the two of those can mate and put something new in the middle. That's what you want to happen. But you don't know if it happened or not until it does happen. And then you break it and you go over there and analyze it. So over here, I've already done this once. So this is a 221. This is a 111. So let's do it again. And hopefully it'll take the traits of this one and mix them together. So that way I'll get like a 231 or a 222. What those numbers mean, growth is how fast it grows. And this is all on a 10 scale, so 1 to 10. Gain is how much stuff it grows at maturity. So like roughly every 2.5. So at 3, it'll give me 2 pumpkins. At around 6 or 7, it'll give me 3. And at 10, it gives me 4 pumpkins every time I harvest it for one plant. So it's not too bad. Strength is how strong it is versus weeds. So I'm going to check and see. In fact, let's see if we can do it through this. Mod options, agricraft, config, tools, debug, world gene irrigation, storage. Uh, maybe it's in here. Uh, custom crops, weeds are in here somewhere. Farming. Disable, enable weeds. Okay, weeds are turned off, so we don't have to worry about them. And it also, I noticed a while ago when I was looking at this, you can pretty much do this without water, too. Like, you notice there's no water source around here. So the vanilla farming rules are disabled for agrocraft in this game. You can turn that back on if you like the extra challenge of having to have water around, but for me it's just an extra step and I don't really care about it. Uh, now, if I didn't mention it, you know, I told you I got those bushes out of the topiaries, out of these things. These trees also came out of that. I don't know if you noticed in the chest over here. We'll go back and take another look. But I also had a, an avocado tree. I made a new apple tree. Simply because I tore this one down. So I made a new apple tree and I stuck it in here. These cannot be analyzed so they're not going to be grown like the seeds will be. That's okay though. Now bone meal. We need red. Let's go on and finish off these other quests. So there's another pink one here for doing the gold chest. I made an iron chest, which you did see in the last episode. And then I made an iron to gold upgrade, which is really easy. It's one piece of iron surrounded by eight gold. Well, normally it's easy. In this one, it wasn't so easy. So I'm going to get three rewards. I'm going to get a wrench, a gold to diamond upgrade, and a rewards bag. Let's go for that one. Okay. Now, saving montage number three. I did a whole lot of saving, boys and girls. So I saved 64 gravel to get... I got 16 iron, I got a diamond, emerald, I got coal out of this, I got a bunch of stuff out. We're going to go for the middle one and this one. Seeding montage number four. I got sardis quartz, charged sardis quartz, cactus, eulorium, ancient spores. Go for the left one on that one. And seeding montage number five. This was the dust one. I actually ended up doing, I think, 16 or 17 stacks of dust. It was a ton of it. Is that all I did in here? This is a repeatable quest. This is to go to the ether. And I did look that up. I need glowstone to go to the ether. Ether is another dimension that's like the opposite of the nether. So you build it out of glowstone and pour water into it, where the other one you build out of obsidian and you pour fire into it. And it's got it's got hostile mobs in it and all that too, and I don't really feel like going there yet. Plus, when you come out of it, the ether portal forms way up in the sky. And like way, way high above. So if you just come out of it and you fall down, you die. I don't know if I like dying. I've done that enough already. So we're going to skip that for now. We will come back to it, I promise. Whew. Man, my jaw's getting tired already. Okay, so let's see. Blubber tub, tinkering with metals. Here's the other stuff we've unlocked so far. What you did not see me do on screen was this one and this one. That's because I did it when I thought I was recording and it actually wasn't recording. I know, my bad. Sue me, it'll be okay. Yay, we get an actual chance at Casahedron as a one award. <sighs> okay, let's see here. Then the Gamma ones. Uh, didn't we just do this? Got that. 
wow, they want us to make these already? Drawer controllers and compacting drawers? I mean, they want to give us another chance at cost. Man, they hate us here. Okay, so let's do this. Good, greater, basic. No, you come back down here. That is from Magnetic Craft. There's no use for it. So we'll stick that there, stick that there. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to open these up, because then these are safe. This gives us invisible bedrock. Boy, didn't that just sound useful. Uh, we've already gotten this reward once. Well, that's not very useful. And these are in the good bags. Advanced bin. Now, that could be useful, because that's a better version of this one. This is the basic bin. The advanced bin holds, look at that, 8,192 items. So if we need more cobble, <laughs> get right. And an, un oh, an unbreakable wand. Is that what I think it is? Oh my goodness. No more diamond wands for us, boys and girls. Now we get the unbreakable wand. And didn't we? Yeah, we got this. Okay, the upgrades, all you do is you hold them in your right hand, hold down shift, and click. Now look how much this will hold. <laughs> Isn't that just awesome? Now we can click all this up here, sort it all together, and what did I lose? I always lose something when I do that. I uh, don't care about you. We'll stick you up there for now because I don't need you. I need my torch back. I need... I've got my quest book. I don't need you, I said. You get up there. Yeah, stay up there. Bone meal. Is that what I'm missing is bone meal? Where are you? You're nighter. Bone meal. All right, so we want to get some red. Because that's the next quest. There's one. Okay, now I just need two more. Because, well, let's check the recipe first. I need six of those blocks. Harvest Goddess Band. Now, isn't that just pretty neat? Ah, bleepity bleepity bleep. Bleepity bleep and bleep and bleep and bleep and bleep and bleep. Sorry, I'm trying not to yawn onto the camera here. Okay, I can't do that yet. How else can I get red? Is this going to be another just grindy adventure here? It is definitely looking like it. Okay, this looks like a grindy adventure. So, when it's a grindy adventure, you know what I do? I pause the game so you don't have to grind with me, and then I come back once I get them all. So guys, I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, I did it. Finally. That's right. I've gotten six red. But, Jeraika, there's only five. No, not, not. There's a red tulip, too. So there's one plus five equals six. Yay. That was a grind of, grind of a grind. So I needed that. Bluegrass. We're going to take you. We're going to take you. Give me that. Give me that. Now we're going to go over here. Because unfortunately I do have to break these. I'm going to pray it breaks the right way. There's three in my hands. Four. Okay. Uh, where did that one go? Alpha. Bam. Here we go. Got them all. Get another bag. Let's go for that one. Whew, I feel accomplished. Let's see what's in that bag. Then, let me get some more dirt. It's a blood moon tonight, by the way. I still haven't figured out this whole sleeping thing. I can only sleep like every three or four nights in here. Two more of those. Yeah, you see how many more seeds we got, right? I got two different kinds of barley seeds. I got that kind of barley. And I got that kind of barley, cactus fruit, celery, corn, eggplant, spinach, radish, peanut, ooh, peanuts, the peanut with the grape jelly, we make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, get excited, 
<laughs> Alright, what do you use this stuff for? Facade crafting, assembly table, shaped crafting, uh, autumnal grass slabs. Okay, that's just not exciting. Bluegrass, is it the same thing? No offense to the Natura Maker, but that's not exciting. And topiary grass. Go the other way with this one. Yeah, look at all the trees you got out of this. Now, see, that's exciting. Silver bells, too. So, what we, I may end up doing this off camera, because I just want to get all the trees. It's as simple as that. I just want all the trees. And we're going to have this giant world to populate anyway, so why not? Hey, you notice over there the giant mob trap is not a mob trap, because there's nothing in it. It's awesome. Okay, so I should have made this a bigger chest. <laughs> So for now, we're going to do this wrong. Oh yeah, upgraded the, uh, the furnace too. Was that a quest in here somewhere? Uh, it will be a quest in just a minute. So I've already completed it. The iron furnace cooks items 1.5 times as fast as the usual furnace. And I looked at it, and there's a gold one, there's a diamond one, and there's a hell furnace too. Which takes a lot more stuff than we have. We have to go to the nether and get some stuff out of there. This is soul sand cooked, magma creams. I don't know where that comes from, because there's no recipe, I'm hitting R, nothing happens. So I'll figure that out when I get there. But this one, I don't know what it does, because it doesn't tell me. Huh. It does stuff. And apparently, oh, 25 times as fast. Then you can even add, at furnace, you can add upgrades to it. It's like auto output. So that way it just kicks stuff out of it. Um, an electric heat source, so you can put something beside it instead of having to throw coal into it. You can upgrade it, piping upgrades, you can do energy storage with it. I mean, all kinds of stuff. Fuel efficiency. Well, that's just, well, that's a bunch of lapis, ender pearls, and coal. But then it's better. I don't, I don't know why it's better, but it's better. Ooh, an extreme furnace. What is... Yeah, that's just complicated. We're leaving that one alone. I'll have machines by then. Let's throw all these in here for now. Don't worry, I'll come back. You go, you go, you go. I'll get back to those off camera. Because I don't want to like waste all y'all's time to watch me doing this by doing stupid stuff. There's an axe in here somewhere. Do y'all see it? There it is. Okay. We're going to plant all those bushes down. And we're going to put them like in a, in a one by four. Because each one will grow three high. So, why would I not do that? One, two, three, four. For some reason, my FPS is low, too. We're playing at, like, 13 FPS, where it was... If I go over here and I just look at the sifter, a while ago, I was getting, like, 120 to 150 FPS doing that. And running around here, I'm usually getting that high. I don't know why it's so jumpy here. It might be because I literally left the game on all day while I was at work. I forgot to exit out of it. And I didn't bother to reset it when I got home. So, that's partly my fault. Okay, we got that going on. Let's see what's next, because we've got all of our quests knocked out, right? Yeah, nothing waiting on us. Twelve quests completed in six episodes. That's not bad. Oh, oh wrong answer. Uh, back up. Still got 38 lives left, too. <laughs> okay, we're 20% of the way done with Alpha Chapter. I want to finish this chapter off. Obviously not tonight, but... Okay, we're going to worry about Epsilon later. So, what do you want us to do? Make some grout. Seared bricks. Has this changed? No, just cooked the grout. Okay, and that's a one-to-one -one on that, so I need a bunch of that. Okay, so. Who out there knows of a way that I can automate water and clay into this, or water and dust in and get, get a clay out? Anybody? Any, any takers out there? I wonder if I could put this to that. Let's find out real quick. We got nothing but time, right? If it doesn't work, then you know you don't have to try it. Mm-hmm. Pretty easy that way. Let's put you. Because I haven't played with these all that much, so I don't remember the rules. Good. It didn't go down the drain. I was worried about that. Not gonna lie, I was about to panic. Uh. You should be getting water. 
right? I wonder if that wrench will do anything. Where did that wrench go we got? Did I put in this tub? Here, load a wrench, load a wrench, load a wrench. Okay, I know we had a wrench. We got a wrench. It was, it was one of um, Reiko's wrenches. Oh my lord, I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on. Maybe I put it in this one. There it is. Yep, see, I told you I knew where it was. Let's open this bag up. We got reeds. More of them lamps and more. I don't want that garbage. Look, we still got these up here I'm not doing anything with. And I picked up the other flat lamps with the, that I put down because I didn't need them. Okay, so evidently what I'm going to have to do is stick another one of these onto this so it goes in here. Then I can rig up. I can just do a chest and a... I wonder if this will take a um, thing. I know, I'm, re I'm being really descriptive here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to try something really quick. Because why not? I got so much iron, I'm not going to be running out anytime soon. So we can make a hopper. That's the word I was looking for, was hopper. And that's just one, two, three, four, five. Hopper. Stop. Hopper time. <laughs> so here's what I want to do. I want to break this. I don't know why you have water in you. Because you shouldn't. Put you back down. Where are you getting water from? Dude, it's not raining. Stop. If I put you down here, do you get water? Okay, now you get no water there. So let's see if you'll do this. Now I know this doesn't work with liquids. What I'm curious about is where did my dust go? I had three stacks of dust on me. Um. Does anybody know where my bucket went? Shaha. Bucket for the win. Okay, that's not gonna work. So now you know. Can't put a hopper into an oak barrel from X ex Astris. Okay, so we got that. So I can get water into this, I bet though. You know what? I think it's going to be in just for a whole lot of clicking. No, I'm not going to give up that easy. How did I make that node? Transfer node. Two pieces of lapis, a block of redstone, two iron, a bucket, and a crossover pipe. And I had another spare bucket somewhere. There we go. There's a bucket. Where did all my redstone go? Because I had a bunch of redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two pieces of lapis. Um, and a transfer pipe, which I also had. I'm going to bet you're not in the furnace, though. I'm going to bet you're right there. Okay, so we turn this to a block. Click that button. Shift click that button. Bam. Got that. Okay. So that sounds like a win, right? That's so much of a winner we really are. I'm going to put you there. We're going to put you there. And we're going to get another piece of that pipe. And if you're on that side of the screen, I already know if this works. But you're not over here, so it's a little, it's a little prayer that it does work. And I remember where that transfer pipe went that I just had in my hand. Okay, I just had it in my hand. <laughs> Guys, where did the transfer pipe go? You just saw me get it out of the chest. Was it up here? No. Okay, really? This is gonna make this gonna make me mad, isn't it? This is why you don't make YouTube videos when you're still not totally 
unsick again. Because I know I had it. Did I throw you somewhere? Are you still on the table? Pipe. Okay, it's not in my inventory. This is an any eye trick I'm using. There it is. What you can do is, in the NEI search box, if you double click it, it'll, see right now it's white, double click it, it turns yellow. Then it highlights anything in the inventory you're looking in that matches the description right here. So that, that obviously comes in handy. You connected, so let's see if that worked. No, yes it did. All right, we're getting clay. Check that out. So there's a trick for you guys. If you're lucky enough to get a bedrockium drum full of water, put a liquid transfer node up under it, connect that with the transfer pipe to a barrel, then you can automatically get dust to your heart's content. Look at that. How amazing is that? It's not terribly slow either. In fact, you could do the um, AFK mining trick with this. That's nifty. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to be doing some clicking. I need two stacks of this. I need two stacks of clay. Then I need two stacks of gravel. I need two stacks of sand. So I'm going to be doing some hammering and some stuff. Then I can make the smell train next time around. You'll be able to see me using the smell tray. We're going to get some machinery going, get some RF going. We're going to get this place automated. We're going to make some real progress. Because I'm sick and tired of being in the Stone Ages here. This cobblestone is getting on my nerves a little bit. Because my other two worlds, I've got an island with an ocean and a pirate ship. And I've got an entire winter kingdom I'm building. And here, we've got a floating piece of cobblestone. So, if you liked the episode, I know there wasn't a lot going on this time. There's a lot of off-camera progress that I showed you. Hit the like button because we're going to start seeing more stuff on camera now that we're getting past the grindy stuff. Hit subscribe if you haven't done it already. And don't forget to put this on Discord, on Curse, on Snapchat, on Facebook, on Twitter, on all the other stuff out there that I don't know the name of. I'm learning more and more of it, but that's all I know the name of right now. By the way, I did get a Discord this week. Um, I'm in a private mod development, mod pack development group where I'm helping write like the lore and the stories for something. So expect to see that in the next couple of months. I think the deadline is on it to be actually released. It's going to be really, really cool when it comes out. And like I said, hopefully I'm, I'm good enough to stick in the group and tell some stories about it. So... Guys, I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.